OK, so welcome. What I'm going to do is show you how to find the value of x for this problem. Now, we notice that we have a triangle, and all the angles inside of a triangle add up to 180. But unfortunately, we only have one angle, and we're not given enough information to determine the rest of these angles. Um, and the only other thing we have is we have a line. Now, I know this line is supposed to be straight, right? but that's going to be what we're looking at. So knowing that we have a line and we have two angles that add up to make this line is going to be very important information. Because if I was just kind of take this out separately, forget about the triangle for a second. If I have two lines that add up to make a straight line, I know that I have supplementary angles. And it's very important about supplementary angles because Supplementary angles, we know, add up to 180 degrees. So in this case, instead of b, I have 2x plus 10. Instead of an a, I have 6x plus 2. So these two angles add up to give me 180. So let's go ahead and write this out there. So I can still write my a and b. So now I can say that instead of a, I have 6x plus 2. And instead of b, I have 2x plus 10. So let's write the equation over here and solve. So I have 6x plus 2 plus 2x plus 10. Now I use these parentheses to kind of preserve each one of these angles. But now I can kind of get rid of them and combine like terms. So let's say 6x plus 2 plus 2x plus 10 equals 180 degrees. Well, I can combine like terms with variables and with my um, that integers. So therefore, 2x plus 6x plus 2x is going to be 8x plus 12 equals 180. Then now I can just use a, now I just have a two-step equation that I can solve for. So I subtract 7 or 12 on both sides. So I have 8x equals uh, 168. Then divide by 8, divide by 8, and x equals 21. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Now that is how I've found the value of x for this problem. Thanks.